on this episode of Lapeef Let's Talk. I mean, like, this is crazy. The stuff people that we're jaded we're subjected to throughout our daily lives make people not want to trust anybody ever. You know what I'm saying? So I don't know. That's just how I feel. Right. Yeah, I, th- I, I like what you just said, Kayla, because I definitely think that a lot of people carry with them, you know, experiences from the past or whatever the case may be. Like, oh, this woman treated me this way or this man treated me this way. So now this is what I think of women and men. And that can become a roadblock for you in terms of really getting to know someone and in terms of being vulnerable with them and opening up those tough conversations and whatnot in your relationship. Um, Communication is so important that like, if you have those roadblocks, if you have that trauma from the past, like it's something that you probably need to work on so that you are not projecting that. I mean, listen, we know what people should do. That's not a debate. Nobody is debating whether or not people should be zip lip and keeping a mouth shut. What we're exploring at this point and what I think is the more interesting conversation is whether or not people truly do that on a regular basis. And we're talking about the majority, we're not talking about as an individual, right? Whether or not people really live that way and why people choose to divulge certain information because obviously nobody, especially at the moment that they're sharing that information or the person that's the recipient of it, right? They're not enemies at that time. They're not not feeling each other. They're not in a space where if, if he ever felt that he couldn't trust them, he wouldn't have never divulged the information in the first place. They got to a point in their life, especially as men, because men don't just openly share their deepest, darkest secrets. They got to a space where at some point people felt comfortable in order to be able to have that conversation. The question we really need to be asking ourselves is how do people get to a space or how do people ultimately come to the conclusion that they cannot hold that type of information And do we ever truly, truly get to a space where we're comfortable with being uncomfortable in these specific type of conversations? I just had a conversation. If we would have really would just want to be real. I've been with my chick and I didn't know her since high school, been married for almost 18 years. I just had a conversation with my chick today that was incredibly uncomfortable and something that we never, ever, ever talked about before, because without even knowing it, I didn't know that I had this specific trust issue based off of something that I experienced way when I was a little kid. You know what I'm saying? But it's something that we uncovered. And so the real the real interesting part of the conversation is why don't we feel comfortable? And is it other things that's played roles in our lives that's prevented us from being able to share? Or should we ever share certain things in the first place with certain people? Or should we just leave that to when you go to therapy or you get get some professional? Because I don't even believe that everything needs to be shared. You don't have to share everything just because they land next to you every day. I don't believe in that. I, I think disagree that there's with that. Pe- I think that there's people I'm for really people. Go to Kay then, Kayla. There's people for people. There's therapists for specific things. And sometimes you can overshare and ruin a certain a certain situation that wasn't even for them because they did they shouldn't have to carry that burden in the first place. That's the real questions that we should be asking ourselves. We know what the right answer is, but is that really the thing that we should be doing? And do we really do ourselves a disservice or harm ourselves by putting people in a position that they forced to carry certain burdens that they never should have been carrying in the first place? Go ahead, okay. Um, you know, I think that I was agreeing with what Crimson was saying about like trust and like, you know, never, you know, break that code. (laughs) Shout out to Courtney. (laughs) Um, I know she's having fun with her homecoming situation, but I think that there are, she's at homecoming for TSU. I miss her, but whatever. Um, I, I know that um, if someone shares something with you, you should not ever utilize it against them. Like, that's my thought. And that goes back to that code conversation that we had many months or weeks or whatever ago. Um, so if my man tells me something, um, let me start over. So in my life, I feel that if, I tell someone something, I need to be able to trust them with whatever I told them. Oh, so, really? So like, JR, let's say I told you something, whatever, and you went and told your great aunt, 
Like, I don't care. That's not a breach of trust. You know what I'm saying? But if you went and told, you know, somebody that we both know or whatever, then that would be like, I think that there's some discernment that has to be there. Like, it is everything meant to be shared, Kay? Okay? No, the no. The person I that you was, sleep you next to what? every day, the closest reading. person to you is everything. I'm, no, I'm just, in, I'm just in general. I'm wondering, no, is no, everything no. meant to be shared? I was agreeing with what you were saying when you said like some things just never say. My rule of thumb for my life is if you just never, like if this something you never want anyone to know, don't even talk about it. Now, no. there's levels. There's levels. Um, You know, some things you can talk about with people that you trust and it's like, well, maybe they'll tell their mom and like, who cares? Cause that's their mom. Like <laughs> their mom ain't got nothing to do with me. You know what I'm saying? And then there's levels like, okay, maybe I told my friends something. I don't want them to tell my coworkers. Like there's just levels of trust. And there's so much like unspoken discernment that has to happen um, for it to work. And that's why I think trust and communication are just extremely important. Like nobody when I talk trusts to somebody, anybody. No, people nobody do trust trusts anybody. No, nobody trusts trust anybody. So, nope. so, so, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, really, hold on, really. Go to Kayla. Go ahead, Kayla. People trust people. Okay, so, ha, <laughs> listen. You come alone. You die alone. There are some things that people should just, for me, there are just some things, nobody, I mean, nobody, not my best friend, not my brother, not my mom. There are just some things that are going to go with me when I go. <laughs> um, now, as far as, as the relationship, I don't know. I just feel like it's hard for people to decide like who they can trust because people have been betrayed so much. People honestly have secondhand betrayal by just seeing uh, people in their life be betrayed by watching television, seeing uh, Amina slap that thing on the table. I am his wife. Like, you know what I mean? Like, this is crazy. The stuff people that we're jaded that we're subjected to throughout our daily lives make people not want to trust anybody ever. You know what I'm saying? So I don't know. That's just how I feel. Uh, yeah, I, th I, I like what you just said, Kayla, because I definitely think that a lot of people carry with them, you know, experiences from the past or whatever the case may be. Like, oh, this woman treated me this way or this man treated me this way. So now this is what I think of women and men. And that can become a roadblock for you in terms of really getting to know someone and in terms of being vulnerable with them and opening up those tough conversations and whatnot in your relationship. Um, communication is so important that like, if you have those roadblocks, if you have that trauma from the past, like it's something that you probably need to work on so that you are not projecting that 